Hey everybody, this is Janet. Um, so as I mentioned in my very first video, uh, I wanted to do a vlog on my current documentary, The Man Behind the Suit, um, and just tell you kind of what it's been like, what I've done, and share my experiences. I've been working on it for almost two years. Um, I'm the producer on it. My partner is the director, Victor Vargas, and then we have a friend who is the editor, Colton, um, and two other people, um, a VFX artist, and a music composer and that's basically it that's five people working on a feature length documentary how this all started is we met a secret service agent uh who wanted to make some sort of complete election of his life the documentary is on robert prospero who was a former special agent in charge of the presidential protected division it's a mouthful but basically means he protected he was kind of the top dog for protecting the president and uh, who he's known for is Reagan. And the story is mostly trying to figure out who he was or who he is as a person. Most people when they think of an agent, they don't see a personal side, they don't see like a family or a community service type of side. And so we wanna show who, you, who he was. A lot of people you know, say that he's one of the most influential people um, that were ever in the Secret Service. He did coach wrestling while he was in the Secret Service, so we interviewed wrestlers, we interviewed his family. We're getting a lot of personal stories, a lot of interesting insight on what it was to be in the Secret Service and how that affected his life and his family. We fundraised on Indiegogo. I did a lot of research on it. I read a couple books, um, a lot of articles on it, and uh, we ended up doing Indiegogo. We did a lot of media for it, created a lot of posts, a lot of images, um, did a few videos, not as many as I wish we could have done. Um, made a poster, got um, perks. We raised about 2000 a little over $2,000. After that, we flew out, me and Victor um, was the production team. We flew out to Texas, Virginia, we went to DC and then we went to New York. We did a couple phone interviews, compiled everything that we possibly could. Um, once we had everything settled, we kind of did a rough cut of what we had, wrote the script. The process has been insane. It's been a huge learning experience. We've had a lot of meetings, a lot of production meetings that have been a lot like this. <laughs> you better have the credits in there. Fuck me, really? <laughs> You're fiddling with different interviews, trying to figure out what's going to fit where, how we're going to make this work. It's coming along. We're at picture lock right now. Well, we're almost at picture lock. It's It's been rough these last couple months just because getting to picture lock, you know, that it's a huge commitment, so it takes a lot of time. And we're planning on finishing this summer. We're inching forward to the finish line, but we're gonna get there. Hopefully we'll be making a trailer soon and I'll be able to share it with you guys. After we finish this final cut, um, we're gonna try to take it to festivals. Hopefully we'll be able to get into the Phoenix Film Festival, uh, a number of documentary-based festivals. We'll, we'll try to keep you updated with that. I think that'll be a lot of fun if we get to go to a couple festivals and I get to show you what they're all about. Besides this project, I'm also working on another project. Um, it's called Postmarked and it's an ASU film and I'm now the production coordinator. I was originally just a key office PA, um, which is nice, I'm not just a regular PA, <laughs> but um, I got promoted to a production coordinator um, soon after the film switched from being a LA production to being a local production. Although, you know, it's no longer an LA production and the budget is a lot smaller, it has its positives because now I have a higher ranking position and I'm learning a lot more hands-on rather than um, if it were the LA production then there would be a lot less for me to do. This new film that we're doing um, is actually to raise awareness for ALS. They have a GoFundMe campaign. It's co-written by someone with ALS and half of the money raised after it's been made um, you know, the profits of it will go to ALS research. So that's kind of a nice thing about it. I will keep you updated with both of my film projects. And 
Um, hopefully you like this video and this little behind the scenes update on it. Thanks for watching guys. Uh, please like, subscribe, um, share, and I'll see you guys later.